As my third and final addition to this trilogy of my 1000 stuff special, here's a mod pack I've been working on for some time. This mod pack revamps the combat of GTA 4. With the help and testing from my friends TurboLag and FoxFox, Fox, along with the other creators of the mods featured here, this pack gathers a bunch of very well made mods together, as well as my own custom weapon info file, to expand and enhance the combat of the game. From having grenade throwers while drive by being slightly further, to the AK-47 having armor penetration, this pack does a ton of stuff that in my opinion, makes the combat work perfectly. I played through the entire game with this pack and during that time my game never crashed or messed up. The only main issue with this pack is that if you use the recoil feature then controllers won't be able to work properly, but I feel like if you use recoil with a controller anyway it would be pretty unfun. This pack's other goals are to have compatibility with any other mod out there, as well as to not use any Scriptrope.net stuff as Scriptrope.net isn't exactly the best for stability. One of the other main goals was to have this pack fit perfectly with vanilla. In the gameplay for this video you'll only see me use mods from the pack itself and from patches from downgrading. There's no extra files or anything unless stated otherwise. Though I am using customizable Nico in the majority of the clips, but that's just clothing and stuff. I'm also using CSGO weapon sounds, both of which will be linked in the mod pack and below in the description as extras. The first thing for this pack was to work on a custom weapon info file. If you don't know what that means, it basically changes how the weapons handle. For example, clip size, fire rate, damage, how much force it applies to physics, and more. This weapon info's goal was to just have the weapons be more accurate to their real life counterpart, while also trying to keep balance for the vanilla game. The biggest differences by far for me are the AK-47 can penetrate through armor. The M4 does more damage than the AK-47, but it also shoots faster and the range is also higher to give more reason to use the M4 rather than the AK. Both shotguns also shoot slightly faster, in the normal game the animation gives you like a full second or so so you can shoot again, so I kind of quote unquote fixed that. I also did the same with the Glock, simply making it shoot more often, though the Glock still does pretty much piss poor damage since it's the first gun that you ever get. The final big difference is the Uzi is like a fuck ton faster, which leads me to the next mod. Recommended Rico is a simple INI change for another mod, the Zaloka Trainer by Zaloka1351. The Zaloka Trainer is a mod menu with a lot of stuff in it. One of the features in it is giving weapons recoil. I mention it after the Uzi because since the Uzi shoots so damn fast, you have to manage it pretty well to actually use it. That's a common trend among the weapon changes, adapting to other stuff within the pack to make it better and balanced. You can of course not use this recoil, but weapons may or may not be overpowered. Another goal for this pack was to have it so you could customize anything that you want. So if you think a weapon does too much damage, or you think the explosions have too much force around it, then just comment down below and I'll try to teach you how to reduce it. The next mod is Moving Wind Scoped. It's another INI change for Zilligus Trainer. It lets you move while you're aiming with a sniper. The balance with this is a mod that comes with a downgrader, which is the Spread Fix mod. While moving with the sniper, your shots become inaccurate, so you still have to stand still in order to actually shoot. I like this because moving with the sniper with 100% accuracy would be overpowered and not really make much sense. The next mod is Fixed Assault Rifle Animations. It comes from the mod Improved Animations Pack made by B-Dog, which also does a lot of shit. This pack fixes the assault rifle animations in GTA 4, which if you don't know, in the normal game, the assault rifles have a firing delay. Also in the normal game, the reload animation is simply you cogging the weapon, at least when you're standing. This fixes all of that. The next mod, which is also from Improved Animation Inspect, is Fixed AI and Drive-By Rate of Fire. If you watched the first video in this trilogy, you know that weapons such as the MP5 and Uzi are slower while drive by This mod fixes that. It also makes it so the AI shoot more often. In the normal game, their shooting is like the drive-by rate of fire, but while on foot, which is of course slower. 
The next mod is kind of small if you play without mods and you'll probably not even be able to use it, but you can use the assault rifles while being passenger in a convertible. Using the boat drive-by animation, it seamlessly adds this ability. The animations can look slightly wonky at first, but tons of animations in GTA 4 already do, so I didn't really care about that. This mod is created by Dognuts, otherwise known as Donuts or the Killer Donuts. The next mod, which is pretty small if you don't play through the story or anything, it's simply higher gun prices. The original file is from Responsive Plus, which is a pretty big mod and would take a while to explain what it does, but I did make a video about it. That video features improved animations pack, which I mentioned before, Responsive Plus, and Potential Grim. There's a link at the right top if you don't watch it. This combat mod pack intentionally doesn't give every single file from a mod, so you have more reason to get these actually pretty epic ass mods. Seriously, these mods are really cool and you should install them, but if you do, make sure to install it before installing this pack because I did make changes to some files that they do replace. The installation for this pack is quite simple. All you need is to downgrade to 1070, then install OpenIV and Zilliga Trainer, both of which are insanely easy installs. A video for all of these can be found at the right top. Just watch my GTIV setup guide, then watch my Absolute Essentials guide. After that, you can find a detailed installation instructions in the README file for this mod pack. If you need further help, then head to my GTIV modding guide series. But after my Absolute Essentials video, you should be able to do it on your own, as there's a quick guide for OpenIV there, which is the most complicated steps. I'll just play some gameplay now. Try to take notes for what's added, some things you may not want from this pack, which if you don't then ask in the comments and I can't explain how to remove it.
Now I'll focus on some extra modifications you can have into your game. All of these mods are featured in the mod pack but with links, not the actual files. There's arrest warrant, CSGO gun sounds, customizable Nico, potential grim, and weapon weight. Using all of these mods makes the game a lot harder so just be careful of that. I'm also not sure how well they work with story mode as I didn't test them there. The mod that shouldn't have any conflictions is the CSGO gun sounds. Obviously that's just sounds, I just added them because it fits in the game very well and it makes them feel a lot stronger, which is ideal for a mod pack such as this. You can check the mod pages for exclamations of the mods, they're just bonuses so I'm not going to go over all of them here, though you can check out Rob's UTIV showcase video for a potential grim explanation. Another thing in the extras is a crosshair that I made a while ago. I'm showing it here because I actually wanted to put it into the pack, but it's not directly combat related, so I didn't include it. Plus, some people may not like it. But a quick note is that if you install this and your crosshair is invisible, then change your crosshair to complex rather than basic. For even more extras, I'll mention two things you can do. If you're more of a hardcore gamer, then you can disable the crosshair or health reticle. Personally, I just disable the health reticle, but you can disable the crosshair if you want. Just go into the Z menu, IV.ini file, and disable them there. This pack will be updated over time most likely, so if you have any criticisms, then I encourage you to comment about it.